78-year-old Schneider is the former pediatric dentist facing 11 counts of Medicaid fraud. Last month, his lawyers argued unsuccessfully to have those charges dismissed. Now, a twist in the case. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker joining us live after speaking with a local attorney about the developments tonight. Francesca. Now, Kenton Joy, the local attorney that I spoke with is not affiliated with the case, but he's very familiar with everything that is going on. He says it's very important for an attorney to adequately be able to represent their client. And in this case, Schneider may not be able to effectively communicate with his attorney at this time, which is why this motion was filed. The motion is asking Judge Cox to determine that Dr. Schneider is incompetent to stand trial. Mainly from an attorney standpoint, it is important to understand that he's incompetent or ineffective to be able to assist the attorney in his own defense. Local attorney Randy Reap is familiar with the latest turn of events in this case. Dr. Howard S. Snyder is the pediatric dentist that the state claims violated Medicaid hundreds of thousands of dollars for procedures he didn't actually perform. Our cameras were there as his former patients protested and cried out for months, alleging the dentist mistreated them or their children, many claiming he abused kids or performed unnecessary or unapproved treatments on them. Reap says statements like that one have now been included in the state's evidence gathered for the fraud case, a case that may have taken a toll on Schneider and forced his attorney to file a motion to declare him incompetent to stand trial. It's my expectation that he would be placed in a mental facility, you might think of it a great deal like a prison, to either restore his competency, i.e. to rehabilitate whatever the limitation is so that he could assist his attorney and move forward in trial, or he would remain there not having been able to regain his competency. So what happens next? Two medical professionals will then evaluate Snyder to see if he is competent. They'll give that ruling to the judge who will make the final ruling in this case. We're told that Snyder is remaining free on a $110,000 bond. His next trial is set for June 13th. And our reporting live from Chesky Africa Channel 4, the local station.